Okay, so this is second part of my little videos looking at the reviews and things uh, that we can see now. Just put together the backdrop, uh, which is the second leg uh, against Charlton in the playoff final of the first season in a Master League campaign where I started with the default squad on Superstar difficulty. So that's the, uh, the information for the backdrop. Okay, so I was reading a few lines from uh, the Metacritic thing, which I already put in the link, but I'm going to continue reading these. Um, we've got to PlayStation Lifestyle. Thanks to the smooth physical gameplay, the amazing animations and the, ver the, and the various and um, strategic game modes, PES 16 is easily the best title in the franchise. To go one step further, PS16 is likely to be is likely one of the best sports games out today. Eurogamer Poland, Konami published almost every aspect of Pro Evolution Soccer 2016, eliminating most of the disadvantages of previous titles. This anniversary edition is undoubtedly the best one in PES history, and perhaps the best virtual football in general. PSX Sense NI. By delivering an even better, prettier and more refined game than last year, Pro Evolution Soccer keeps paving the way to the perfect football game. Game Style, the best football sim to date. Metro Games Central, this is the review that I read. Pro Evolution Soccer is finally back to its best in what is undoubtedly one of the greatest sports games of all time. Alright, I'm going to stop here. Uh, simply because this is a review that I read. I'm going to click read full review. And I'm going to go through uh, this. Now, uh, here's a bit, of, uh, a bit of history to Metro's Game Central. Um, they used to be on Teletext in the UK. Uh, Channel 4's teletext that used to be on, and I used to read it on that years ago. Now, like a lot of sites, uh, it, because obviously, you know, magazines um, don't really sell as much. There used to be a lot of magazines out there. Back in the days of Commodore 64, I used to read things like Zap 64. Um, but great affection for that, but even then, uh, I think I've mentioned it before, there were, you know, issues where uh, rumours abounded that Newsfield publishers uh, who did that 64 or who also made games had um, inflated their review scores of their own games to boost sales. So it's a trick that even back then was, <coughs> was in full swing and, you know, in my opinion, that's what's going on here. Um, so anyway, back to this review that I read. Pro, Evolution, Pro Evo has finally returned to its former glories in what could end up being the best football game of the year and perhaps all time. Um, so, you know, quite gushing in the heading there. The rise and fall of Pro Evolution Soccer has created a history to rival the greatest football clubs. Prior to the last gen, Pez was the connoisseur games of choice. Never quite successful as FIFA, and frustratingly lacking in official licenses, but far more authentic. The games weren't necessarily the most realistic in terms of simulation, but they replicated the heart and soul of football far better than EA's corporate mash cash machines. But then it fell apart. The first few games of the last generation were awful, and it was a long hard slog toward even a semblance of competitiveness. But all that was the opening FIFA needed, and EA's franchise finally came of age, producing a number of great games in their own right. There were some signs of complacency last year, but the sales of FIFA have never been higher, which hardly creates much of an opportunity, much of an opportunity for PES. So it's been a good job that this year's game is amongst the best it's ever been. PES 2015 was already a good game in its own right. There were some control issues and graphical glitches, but it was a, a, already arguably better than FIFA 15. And uh, the, although our review, I'll start that again. And although our FIFA 16 review won't hit until next week, uh, don't forget this is you know in, in the context of when it was printed. 
So we can't say anything about that right now. PES 2016 is definitely a significantly better game than 2015. Every year PES and FIFA throw around a bunch of buzzwords and supposed improvements that often make little real impact on the game and quite often are dropped or altered out of all recognition for the next sequel. But the advanced collision system of PES 2016 is a genuine revelation. The series has already been using the Fox engine, the same graphics technology currently employed in Metal Gear Solid 5 for a while now. But the, it's this year's new physics engine that really makes a difference. The most primary it, it's not primarily about how realistic the movement of the ball is, but the physicality of the players, the way you jostle and barge opponents reaches a level of realism never seen in any other video game, never mind just sports sims. Like the older pairs games, it just feels right, whether you're purposefully crashing into a defender with a bigger player, or sent tumbling across the pitch when controlling someone weedier. But the system is more about realistic looking tackles, in fact, the computer players, players are strangely resistant to put the boot, uh, strangely reticent to put the boot in, and even if they do have someone over, the ref is usually particularly lenient about it, as if the computer suddenly thinks it's playing in the 1945, playing in the 1945s. It's hard to say if this is purposeful or not, but it's telling just how good the game is when this and some occasionally flighty goal is is the only real problem with the gameplay the only real problem with the gameplay wow they must have been drunk certainly the control lag of last year's game has been completely removed to be honest that improvement alone would have almost been enough to recommend the game considering that was by far the biggest problem with last year's title but the new physics system means that everything about your interaction with the ball has changed it's now more realistic, more dynamic and more exciting. Not only does dribbling and shooting feel better, but it's different with each player as their skill and physicality is mimicked perfectly. This is true for even relatively obscure players, suggesting that the stats Konami is giving them generates a realistic portrayal even without fine tuning by the developer. Although there are three times as many as last year, the animations still aren't quite as good as FIFA, but they're still excellent and don't let the side down at all. The rest of the visuals are more obviously inferior to EA's game though, with a noticeable lack of detail when zoomed out. The commentary is okay, but their very obvious Peter Jury and Jim Beglin were never in the same room when they recorded their lines. Off the pitch, Konami has also instituted major improvements to Master League, reconfirming it as one of the series' crown jewels. It's probably still not as in-depth as some would, some would little, would argue maybe? And there's little in the way of proper tr training, and you can't negotiate with players directly. But compared to the recent collapse in quality of most sports game career modes, it's still engrossing stuff. There are no other major new modes, with Konami instead focused on trying to turn my club into Pez equivalent of FIFA Ultimate Team. It's more balanced, but less flashy than the EA system, which is pro evil in a nutshell really, although some will be likely upset it has no transfer market, and they mention nothing about gambling. And while, yes, it's true that Pez doesn't have all the official licenses, it does now let you import images to create your own kits and emblems, and give the size of the fan, given the size of the fan community, it's only going to be a matter of days until every club imaginable is available to download. We've learned, we've since learned, this isn't possible on Xbox One, although you can still edit them yourself. But they don't talk about how shit the editor is and how, you know, it's been bastardized and cut up and stuff. Um, PES 2016 isn't perfect, you're not, you're not kidding, but this is a major step forward, really, for a series that was already improving in leaps and bounds each year. We've certainly no hesitation in calling PES 2016 the best football game of the generation so far, All, and although its toughest competition is yet to take to the pitch, it's very much pro Evo, which is now the team to beat. In short, Pro Evolution Soccer is finally back to its best in what is undoubtedly one of the great 
greatest sports games of all time. For us, the new physics system is fantastic and changes every aspect of the game for the better. Last year's lag issues have been fixed and Master League is also back on form. Cons, some strangely lenient refs and the curious lack of fouls from the computer from computer plays. Goalies can be a bit unreliable. Graphics could be better when viewed at a distance. Score, 9 out of 10. The score was originally posted as 8 out of 10, but this was an error based on using the format template from a previous unrelated review. The score was hopefully obvious from the text. was always intended to be 9 out of 10. Um, so yeah, so that is the review that I read. And nowhere in that review, and indeed nowhere in any of the little snippets of, you know, uh, words that I've been reading out from these um, critiques, has there been mention of anything broken. I'm surprised and concerned that professional reviewers seem to, th seem to believe that the physics in PES are amazing. I have seen and I have shown the computer moving the ball itself for its own benefit. Um, I've shown numerous clips throughout loads of footage uh, and, and believe you me when I tell you I could have put a lot lot more on there. I mean I played a lot of PES 2016 and you know I, I have footage of, of the next installment in the backdrop coming up which is just completely amazing. Um, I mean, I'll, I will continue to, to, to read out these little snippets and, and, you know, we'll discuss this because it's not just Metro Game Central. Certainly that's the review that I read. This is the, this is the site that I read about the game's uh, news. And I, I mean, I've raised this question before. Is there a site that you can go to that is completely trustworthy? Because it doesn't seem that there is. I'll, I'll get more into that later. Let's just, for now, let's just read these bits. Uh, Game Informer. PES 2016 is more than just a few additions for the year. It ushers in a new era for the franchise that needs to be experienced. Games Radar Plus. This improved Master League mode is a godsend. Adding substance to the package and complementing the excellent gameplay. With the advanced collision system, Konami has done in a year what EA has been trying to perfect since FIFA 12. The added physicality and increased number of animations has done wonders for the gameplay. The introduction of an excellent edit mode, see edit it up for more details, to the PS4 version even makes the lack of licenses a relative non-issue. GameSpot. There's little worth in assessing soccer sims by the weight of their game modes or indeed the breadth of their official licenses. All that truly matters is what unfolds in those virtually 90 minutes, either against a friend or an online stranger or the computer. On that test alone, PES 2016 represents the best game in the series since the PlayStation 2 era. Lazy Gamer. Uh, PES 2016 trades the authenticity for fun in most facets of its designs, but it's a decision that ultimately pays off. What you'll get is a fast, tightly designed football experience that isn't matched anywhere yet anywhere else. EA needs to start taking some notes. Impulse Gamer. Konami once again take their franchise to a whole new level that easily makes PES 2016 one of their best attempts at virtual soccer on any new on any console. Hobby consoles. We haven't enjoyed PES 2016 or PES this much since the era of PS2. It could be better in some aspects, but the gameplay shines brightly again, and that means victory in the sports genre. Um, I mean, do I really need to go on? There's so much that is positive, and so much that doesn't even talk about broken gameplay. Um, I think with, with that, I'm going to have to cut you off now.